Today we are diving into the world of text link animations. Sometimes it can be a real headache, especially when you are not a coding wizard. But fear not, I am about to show you how to approach these setups from super easy to legendary level. And the best part is that I'm attaching clonable to this video and it means that you can recreate these effects without writing a single line of code. Let's dive in. Alright, so I prepared these for you uh, in clonable that you can find in the description. There's the easy peasy one, the regular one, the expert one, and the absolute legend one, think Timothy Riggs or Pixel Geek here. I've seen this animation all over the place where you just hover over the link, it moves uh, the text that's there to the top and then slides one from the bottom too. And when at first you'll take a look at it, it seems to be a simple one here and uh, it looks really basic, but believe me there are some ways that you can either do it the right way or you can go the wrong way. And then we have the legend one which also has some additional features and I'll explain to you why they are important later. Let's start with the easy peasy one. Um, the setup here is really simple and straightforward. Uh, it works, but it's not really scalable. And if you want to add this to mul multiple links, you'll have to um, level it up. But as you can see, um, we have this button here, which is just regular link block. Then we have one text here and then the other one right next to it. The second text position is set to absolute. So it's actually out of the view. And this does the trick because then um, in the Webflow interaction panel, we can set it up in a way that it just moves the first link um, to the top and out of the view. And then it moves the other one to the middle and into the view. And this one will work for you. This is where I started too, but we can do it better. So the first issue with that is that I can't easily copy paste it. And it really takes a long time when you have more links like that to just update the text there. You have to do it twice then. Good luck explaining how to like preview this hidden text to your clients if you share the page with them. So now we go to the regular one where we just up update the code a little bit. And we even use the same animation, but this time we use a trick that's uh, leveraging the symbol feature. And uh, once you create the symbol in Webflow, you can start attaching props or like settings to elements. And one of the settings uh, can be the text. So once you um, edit the text here, you can decide if you want the text um, in this slot to be a dynamic value or if it should be like just a regular value. So in this case, I just assigned the same value to both texts here under the settings. And now when I preview this button, I can see only the text part here where I can just type anything new. And once I will preview it, it does the same double space here as I did uh, add it just right now. So it means that you can scale this one and it means that when you want to update the text, it's much faster. But then again, it's not so simple to set up. There are some issues with copying, pasting the symbol. Sometimes it duplicates the interaction. And overall, I just prefer to do it using GSAP. And because I feel that when using GSAP, I have much more um, power over the easing types and it just works a bit better. So look at this one. Um, here, the setup is really simple. We just need a basic link text with pan inside so that it knows the text. And as you can see here, we don't have any other text. So this one will be much easier to maintain. There will be no mistakes and you can just set it up with just a little bit of custom code. And you can find the custom code here. Be sure to include both of these if you want to use it. And then the first expert code here is here and the legend code is just a little bit lower. Basically what I did here is waited until the DOM content is loaded so that I can see if the buttons are there. I checked if there are any buttons with uh, this attribute because uh, in order to make it work, we just need to add this data gsap uh, equals button dot 
x1 you can add anything else here and then you have to add, update it also in the code but this is the attribute that I'm, that I'm using and then in the future if I add it to any other link I can uh, just add this attribute I don't have to like add both attributes or uh, I can also turn it into a symbol and then uh, make sure that it has the same attribute inside. So now when I go to the uh, custom code, you will see that I will, I'm using this uh, GSAP library for animation. That lets me update the position of this text. There's some bulletproof thing going on here that if there is no uh, original text inside, then uh, like the sp span I, have meant I added before, then it won't work too. So um, it will console log you like the error so that if something doesn't work, you can see it here. And then it clones, clones the text inside so that you don't have to worry about adding another text here, adds it to the same setup and sets it to be out of the view. Then we have two events here, mouse center, mouse leave, and we just animate the thing. This animation does the same thing on both text elements. I could just write one function here with gsub and set uh, the different uh, position for text element itself. So here it moves it to the top and uh, this one uh, to the middle. And then here on mouse leave, it brings this one back and then uses uh, this one to move it uh, again out of the view. So this is like a helper function that saves us a little bit of code. And then if we want to just update it or update the ease or duration, we can do it only in one place. So that's why it's expert level because we are thinking about the scale here. And then there is this legend level where we just took this animation for a ride. We made it happier and really fun to watch and uh, fun to build. So this time, instead of just using this really simple move, we just added a letter by letter uh, movement, which looks just, I think, a lot better. And then we prepare the code in the way that it also works for buttons so that we don't have to worry about adding it only to links. We can also now add it to buttons. And um, this is where actually uh, you can stand out as a Webflow designer, I think, when you are just bringing these uh, things that everybody does to the level where it already looks much nicer and um, it just feels uh, feels better and a little bit more unique. So you put uh, just a little bit, little bit more work to it, but then you stand out. And you can find also the code for the legend code here. It does the exact same thing and the setup is exact same in the previous ones. Just when you add a button, it can be also uh, a regular Webflow button. Uh, make sure you just add this OG text uh, style, but you can just copy it from the clonable, paste it to your page and it should work fine. And uh, it has another attribute here. It's button X2, so if you want to add it, to your uh, page, make sure that if you update this part, you also update the code uh, in the custom code section. To make the setup more unique, I used the split type JavaScript library that lets me really quickly divide any text into characters or words or lines. And then I just updated the code and add some comments for you so that you can read into it and ask questions in the comments if you have any. It uses a similar function helper, helper and the setup is almost the same as in the expert one, but, but this time, as I've mentioned, we just made it work for more elements. And also it just looks amazing, I think. And again, this, uh, this one and this one work on uh, attribute-based magic. You just add this data GSAP button X1 to any text link, this one X2 to any text link, and just copy and paste this code to your website and it will work. And what I wanted to show you too is the plugin that I'm actually working on. And, and in this plugin, you can find much more, actually 50 pro animations that are one click, uh, ready to go GSAP animations that you can add to, you, to your elements. You can find this app uh, somewhere over here when you will open apps uh, in your Webflow uh, browser, in your Webflow designer, then it will appeal, appear here. You can launch it, then you'll have to go to the setup, uh, copy the free scripts, and if you have a pro uh, account, you can copy and also uh, add the free scripts to this uh, head tag. 
And uh, once you are in, you can browse through different types of uh, animations for headings. And I like this one, so let's click on this heading. Let's apply the text. Oh, it was here before. Let's add a different one. As you can see, there is no attribute right now. Uh, let's add a different one here. And it says it's ready for publish. There are some also free animations here. You can use ones for the paragraphs, for the images, etc. And once you publish the page, so uh, you don't have to write any code, you just copy the code uh, that I made uh, and then apply the animations. You can preview the design. And now once it's updated, we can just scroll to this section below and you can see that use GSAP without JS and this one animated. So if we refresh the page and again, again go here, uh, it animates these items. So once you click here, try GFluo for free, you can add the free animations and you can preview the pro gallery under the other button. All right, so now let's wrap it up. We've covered four levels of text link animations from easy peasy to legendary. You can find the link to clonable in the description so that you can clone the whole setup or just copy and paste the GSAP code or, or copy any specific links. And if you want to dive deeper into Webflow animations, you can try GFluo and see how it works for yourself. Before I go, I'm Wojtek, I'm the founder of GFluo and I'm passionate about building cool uh, Webflow animations and empowering other people to do the same without having to write any code. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share a comment if you want to learn more or just DM me and uh, I will be happy to talk to you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.